Hello people, what's going on? Uh, I know I don't make a lot of videos on this channel, I apologize for that, but uh, my main channel takes up most of my time. Uh, for those of you who don't know, there is a wrestler by the name of Katsuyori Shibata. He's pictured right there, uh, quickly becoming uh, one of my favorite wrestlers, like, alive right now. And unfortunately, as of right now, his career may be over because of a headbutt. A headbutt that he delivered to another wrestler by the name of Kazuchika Okada. Probably one of the top ten wrestlers in the world right now. Both of these guys are. Um, after this headbutt, he suffered a subdural hematoma. And he underwent a five-hour surgery. Stopped the bleeding. And this might be the bookend to his career. The wars this man has been through, and it might be over because of one headbutt. One. And I'm making this video because the reaction from wrestling fans is fucking mind-boggling. I really, really, really don't like wrestling fans a lot of the times. They're calling Shibata stupid. This was stupid. This shouldn't have been done. Um... You know, use some common fucking sense. He's an idiot, but that's that's the biggest bunch of bullshit I have ever heard in my life. Well, second, if you know me. Uh, professional wrestlers, even though Japanese wrestlers, the strong style wrestlers, even though they take it 100% more seriously than we do over here in the United States, these things are still choreographed they're still planned out ahead of time they're still predetermined all the big spots uh, in the matches are planned rehearsed all of that no wrestler goes into a match thinking that they're going this is going to be their last match or that they're going to die or anything like that no wrestler's thinking that because if you're going to call you're going to call shibata stupid okay well Call Owen Hart stupid for doing that power driver on Austin. You're going to have to call D'Lo Brown stupid. You know what? Let's call Trish Stratus stupid. Why does she have to take that bump over the top rope and separate her shoulder? Because when Jeff Hardy, he, he dives off a fucking 20-foot ladder, or Kalisto does a Salida del Sol from a 20-foot ladder, uh, you, they get a, a This Is Awesome chant. Even though... I think doing shit like that is infinitely more dangerous than just a simple headbutt. A headbutt that Shibata has done hundreds of times. I even showed it in my uh, Can Pro Wrestling Be Taken Seriously video. That match he had with Ishii a couple years ago where they just just smashing their heads together over and over again. You can hear it. You can hear it over and over. Nothing happened then, but this, this was just a, a, a tragic accident. It just was. I'm pretty sure um, uh, Okada, um, like I said, they go over these things. This isn't a, a fucking MMA shoot fight. I'm pretty sure Okada knew the headbutt was coming. But Shibata, unfortunately, he... He got the worst of it, even though he was the one giving it. So, if you're going to call Shibata stupid, call Mitsuharu Masawa stupid for agreeing to take that backdrop. Call Sid Vicious stupid for doing a fucking top rope big boot. Call Joey Mercury stupid for agreeing to do that ladder spot. You know, I could go on and on and on and on. It's like, where do you draw the line, wrestling fans? Seriously. Is a headbutt where you draw the line? Is that it? Well, anyway, I just want to say to Shibata, thanks. Because this is what wrestlers do. They put their fucking bodies and lives on the line for the entertainment of people like me. And dude, I have to say to you, if, the, if this is it, what a fucking match to go out on. Because that shit was beautiful. It was fucking fantastic. 
this is why New Japan is my favorite wrestling promotion. Because they put on matches like this and they take it seriously. Katsuyori Shibata, thank you. I hate that it had to end like this, but... Sorry.